On January 19th, Jivu published their latest company and project update, which states that Jivu has selected a partner as the EPC contractor for Net Zero One. This firm offers deep experience in the energy industry and a collaborative nature to work with Jivo. The two parties are currently negotiating an APC agreement, and the name of the company Jivo has selected will be disclosed when the contract is finalized. Many of us expected Kivit to be the APC contractor because of what Pat said in a previous fireside chat. Kivit? Oh, I'm tickled to have these guys. They're really, really, really good. And yeah, we expect them to be the EPC wrap company. What that means is they're the ones who go build the plant at a price and guarantee the price and that the plant works. That's what they are. But after I did my usual LinkedIn digging, I'm not so sure this is the case anymore. Jivu posted their latest update on their LinkedIn page. And among all the likes, these two individuals caught my attention. Keith Newton lead structural designer at Samuel Engineering, and Clay Boyce, director of hydrogen and modern fuels at Samuel Engineering. Maybe that doesn't sound that much, but when you read his profile, things start to get really interesting. Clay Boyce has been working in the oil and gas industry on firm price EPC projects. So what type of company is Samuel Engineering? Let's Google it. Oh, really? Full service EPC management. And Samuel Engineering offers their clients all the necessary services procurement and logistics, construction and commissioning, project management, estimating and scheduling, process and piping, sustainable energy, mechanical and plant layout, architecture, civil and structural engineering, electrical and automation, pipeline and fabrication. So now that we know what Clay Boys and Samuel Engineering does, I need to show you this. It's the Net Zero groundbreaking video on Jivo's YouTube channel. South Dakota. Let's zoom in on this guy sitting right here. Take a close look at his name tag. It's Clay Boys attending the groundbreaking ceremony at Lake Preston. So this is proof that Clay Boys and Samuel Engineering are some way involved in the Net Zero One project. And browsing through Clay's LinkedIn activity, you find even more traces. So he must be very engaged in this project. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but Samuel Engineering has their headquarters in Denver, Colorado. And according to Google Maps, their HQ is located just a 15 minute drive from Jeevo's main office in Englewood. How convenient. Now let's check out this other guy's profile. Keith Uton. Let's see. Extensive experience in structural design of structural steel and reinforced concrete. I guess that's why he's the lead structural designer. Keith also follows Chivo on LinkedIn and he has liked several posts related to the NC1 project. And I need to show you all the likes on this post regarding the groundbreaking ceremony. We have Mark Olmsted, Director of Energy and Pipeline at Samuel Engineering. Roman Zimmerman, Piping Designer Chief at Samuel. Raev Karki, Chief Civil and Structural Engineer at Samuel. Amy Wilson, Document Management Specialist at Samuel. Mike Atkins, Senior Process Engineer at Samuel and Lisa Ellison, Administrative Assistant. So it seems like almost the entire staff at Samuel Engineering is involved in the NC1 project. So what happened to Kibit? Well, they are still the feed contractor, and here's what Pat said regarding the EPC selection. Put out, you'd put stuff out for bid, right? That is the normal way of doing this. And you'd say to the EPC contractors, you know, let's have a, let's have several you bid against each other. That's how you get the best deal for the EPC. That's all fair game for us. Jiva has already disclosed some of their NC1 partners in the investors' presentation, like Fluidquip, Pry, and Axis. And the presentation says that Joule Energy is responsible for building the wind turbines and the hydrogen facility. 
and Jewel Energy recently rebranded the company and is now named Zero Six Energy. And according to their website, they specialize in wind, solar and hydrogen. And some of you may have noticed this LinkedIn post made by Charlie Fredrickson, Executive Vice President at FDI. Looking forward to building on the partnership with Jivo and designing and constructing a successful project that operates on 100% clean energy. So this makes you think, wait, what? Who is this guy? And what's FDI? Well, FDI is Faith Technologies Incorporated, and it's the parent brand to Faith Technologies and Tech Solutions and Accelerate. But wait, it gets much weirder. Charlie Fredrickson is the president for EPC and he's responsible for the overall strategic leadership and direction of FDI's EPC. Okay, so now it's getting really confusing. So if FDI is the EPC contractor Jeeva has chosen, Charlie has already disclosed inside information about Jeeva's choice of EPC firm. And Antec has also officially revealed that they are Jeeva's renewable energy partner for Net Zero One. So why does the latest investor presentation still say that Jewel Energy, or Zero Six, is Jivo's partner for renewable energy? Could it be more confusing? Yeah. Let's go back to the groundbreaking video. Of, uh, prime real estate that will... So in this video, Jivo also reveals their partnership with Antec. <laughs> Yet, the video says nothing about Jewel or Zero Six. And then this interview appears in Jeeva's video. This gives us an opportunity to show the world what can happen and will happen with tech. With Mike Jensen, CEO of Faith Technologies and Solware. So what's going on here? This article in the public opinion may give us a clue. The article says that Jeeva has partnered with Jewel Energy, or Zero Six, and Antec Energy Center to build 20 wind turbines and a solar farm. So maybe Faith Technologies and Antec is only responsible for the solar panels. Notice that he's standing in front of them. But still, the investor presentation doesn't say anything about solar panels. And yet the 3D design print clearly shows a solar farm, along with the Solware logo. Here's another picture from the groundbreaking ceremony. We see Mike Jensen, and I believe the person sitting next to him is his colleague Charlie Fredrickson. So if Faith Technologies is the EPC company, why is Clay Boyce from Samuel Engineering attending the groundbreaking ceremony? For the record, I just want to show you that these two guys sitting next to Clay are both representing Solware. So let's try to straighten this out. What do we know? Well, Kibit is contracted to do the front-end engineering design. Jewel Energy 06 will provide the 20 wind turbines and supposedly also build the hydrogen facility. And Antec seems to be the chosen partner for the solar farm. And that leaves Samuel Engineering doing what exactly? Could they be the EPC firm that he was trying to keep secret from us? Or was Charlie Fredrickson's LinkedIn post a premature announcement of Jeeva's choice of EPC partner? What do you make of all of this? How do you piece this puzzle together? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you appreciate my due diligence, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And keep in mind, I make videos to inform and entertain, and you should not under any circumstances consider the information I provide as financial advice. Well, that's all I had for now. I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye bye.